Welcome back, everybody. This is Derek Kirby, and this is the Dallas Prospect. Slovenia just keeps winning. The country who had never made the Olympics from their men's basketball team now make their first and are 4 and 0. Oh, Luka Doncic individually as a member of the Slovenian basketball team is 17 and 0 oh, as this time they take care of business against Germany with an impressive 94 to 70 victory here. Now Luka in the game posts another near triple double. Not a super efficient shooting day for him. And that's kind of been the case since his first game of the Olympics where he dropped 48. The points scaled back and back a little bit. But you see here how he is still controlling the game and making the difference here. It's not just his scoring or his ability to get into the paint and to kick to open shooters. Slovenia's got a lot of good shooters, by the way. It's not just that ability. It's also his ability to pass play defense, rebound. It is a complete effort here. Even in the re reviews I've been giving thus far from the prior games, I haven't really focused enough on what he's bringing to the table defensively because he's getting timely steals. He's blocking shots. He's playing rugged defense and making opposing players really have to work for it. Now, I would be remiss in this case if I didn't give credit where credit's due. Zoran Dragic, Unbelievable against Germany. 11 of 13 from the field, 5 of 7 from 3. He is a uh, the, the team's leading scorer with 27 points here. And really, it didn't matter in this game that Luka struggled shooting the ball early on. As I said, he was still impacting the game, and Slovenia was still holding on to a near double-digit lead even when Luka started out like 3 of 10. And that was trouble for Germany, as you might imagine. When you have a game in which Luka doesn't have to do everything for your team to be in charge, that is a dangerous warning sign to the opposing team. And Dallas just doesn't have that here right now. We'll talk a little bit here. I'm going to do another video shortly talking about the free agent signings yesterday uh, by the Mavericks. But right now, staying on this topic here, you see how when Luka has shooters around him and Slovenia likes to put... The guys out around the arc, let him either work in the low post, drive to the paint, work in that kind of regard. Mike Toby, fantastic. Again, another double-double. He was such a catalyst in that win over Spain. And here, this really felt like the Dragic game just because of his shooting. They have other guys as well knocking out the lights. But this is a quality, quality win here. I This wasn't as divisive, I guess. It wasn't as highly contested of a matchup as Spain was. Spain was the world's number two coming into the Olympics. They are now out without a medal. And, you know, that that's just the breaks for it here. Now, in this case, you're going to have another tough matchup awaiting you. And you're going to have to probably deal with, I believe, France is next. On the other side, you have the U.S. and I think Australia matching up. The Boomers have had themselves a really good run as well. I'd like it if we were seeing more from Josh Green, but his minutes continue to be very low. I totally understand and respect wanting to go represent your country and do something like that, but I kind of think he would have been, in terms of his personal development, he might have been better suited playing with the Mavs Summer League team, but it is what it is. So with this, Slovenia finds itself one game away from the gold medal contest. That is phenomenal. I would pay so much money to see a USA versus Slovenia with Luka Doncic final. That would be unbelievable. Like, I would lose my mind with excitement. Luka, he's really, like, he's getting a lot of the attention, and that's to be expected, but it's not just his efforts. Like I said, the sharpshooter Slovenia has. You have several guys on Slovenia right now who they should be drawing a lot of attention, not just from Dallas, but from other NBA teams as well. I'd like to see Toby get a shot at least uh, with the summer league team, kind of see how that works. Now, that's probably not going to happen, but I'd like to see some kind of opportunity there to at least come in, get a run, see if you see if there's a fit there that can translate. 
uh, in that regard because that dude can bring a lot to the table, even a little bit more range than I was giving him credit for previously. Not not the cleanest looking form, but you know, knocked down a three in this game as well. So really good stuff. Uh, really good stuff there. I think Dragic, it's only a matter of time. We'll talk another Dragic here soon, his older brother. But uh, it's only a matter of time, I feel like, before Zorn follows to the NBA as well. And yeah, this is this is a really fun team to watch. Uh, I'm sure there's there were loyalties tested in this game a little bit because... There is obviously a very healthy contingency of Maverick fans in Germany, just being obviously carryovers from Dirk's time with the Mavericks. And so there were some tested loyalties there. You want to be loyal to Luka because that's your guy now, but at the same time, it's your country, so I totally understand that. Uh, we might face the same thing here, potentially, because I think in neither, neither side of the bracket is a sure thing at all. You got to deal with France. You got to deal with Australia respectively these sides so it's by no means a sure thing that we would get a usa versus slovenia final but for just this kind of cinderella run and i know slovenia has internationally shown it is a very competent viable basketball program previous to this i understand that but it is still their first olympics in men's basketball so the ability of this team really does translate into a bit of a Cinderella run. Even if people want to say, hey, it's kind of one of those situations where it's uh, it's the eight-year overnight success. You, you hear that phrase. People always talk about like, oh, it's an overnight success, this team and what they're doing. It's really not. It's just what people see. They don't see all the hard work, all the practices, all the, the games. And this was a physical game there. You had Dragic and I forget the, the guy in Germany, but you had uh, them collide at one point and both of them bloodied you had Luca taking an elbow to the face on a rebound under the basket you had a lot of physical play in this but people don't see that element of the game and that work and preparation what they see is when you kick down the door and actually burst onto the scene then they take notice and they're like well I didn't know who you were until like just the other day so I'm gonna say you're an overnight success you're not that that's never true you might break into people's consciousness and attention at that point, but you've been putting in the work in all likelihood to get there. And that's what Slovenia has been doing. So kudos to them for this run. It really has been uh, really the most exciting thing going on right now in the off season. I will talk free agency. There is obviously interest and excitement and intrigue and things like that as well. I still think Dallas, even today, as I record this has moves that they're going to make, but you know, it's a uh, it's a different animal. This is this is fresh. This is uh, wonderfully fresh and invigorating to the basketball soul. So that's gonna do it for this video. I will do another update when we when we get an idea of that. And uh, I don't know. Like the video. Drop a comment. Subscribe to the Dallas Prospect. Until next time, guys. Remember, every legend was once a prospect. Peace.